I am Danielle Gastamide. I am a master's student at Utah State University and I work in Dr. Randy Lewis's spider silk lab. We are trying to produce the proteins that spiders use to spin all of their fibers. This is the spider that we base all of our genetic sequences off of. It's called the Nephila clavipes. It's also called the banana spider. You can't farm spiders, they're cannibalistic, and you cannot get um, actual protein from them. So what we're trying to do is produce all those types of silks in other hosts. Those hosts include alfalfa, bacteria, we use E. coli, goats, and silkworms. The goats are not um, affected adversely. They are genetically modified from the time of conception, basically. So they are modified in the embryo, and then um, everything after that just comes from breeding. So when we breed the goats, not every baby has the gene. The only difference in the goats is they produce, they produce a lot of proteins in their milk. Um, these goats are special because they produce one extra protein, basically, in their milk. Um, so yeah, if you tasted it, you look at it, you look at them, they look exactly the same. Spider silk is biocompatible, which is one of its really cool properties. So potentially we could use these products um, for medical uses and replace things that are used now, um, make them better, make them stronger, make them easier on your body. We've also had interest in the textile industry um, and in adhesives, making eco-friendly adhesives, adhesives that don't have harmful byproducts that aren't uh, adhesives that aren't petroleum based. That's kind of the great thing about this research is the kind of opportunities are endless. Because it has the potential to do so much good, it would be a shame to not harness the power of genetics.